doing my April favorites. I'm going to show you all my favorite makeup, fashion, music, food, all of that stuff. So if you want to see what my favorites were this month, keep on watching. So starting off with the makeup, the first thing is Gimme Brow by Benefit. And this is to fill in your eyebrows. And I like this a lot. I have the light shade and it's light to medium. And you can get it at Ulta. It's kind of expensive. I think it was $27, which is a lot. And usually I wouldn't spend that much on products, but I felt like it's a good product because you can just swipe it over your eyebrows and then you're good to go. Whereas if you have powders and stuff like that, it takes a lot longer and gels and all that, but this is just like, you just go like that and you can walk out the door. Then the next thing is this Baby Lips and it's in the shade Strike a Rose. It's a really bright pink color. And I just really like this a lot because it's really moisturizing, but this shade in particular, I have two of them. I don't know why, but like one of them I end up keeping in my bag and then one's on like my bureau in my room. So I end up using it a lot and I just really like it. I think it's a really nice shade and yeah, it goes with pretty much any outfit. So that's good. Then the next thing in here is a hair product and it is the Neutrogena Shampoo Anti-Residue Formula and I've been using this a lot. You can get it at Ulta. It's a little bit expensive. I think it's like $12 or something, but it is worth it if you get really oily, greasy hair occasionally because if you get like product buildup or you haven't showered in a few days, this is perfect and it actually lasts a really long time because you don't have to use it every time you shower. It's just like every few days or once a week or something. And I feel like this really helped me because recently I've been getting oily hair up top towards my roots. And this is making it so that I don't get it as often. And the next product is kind of random, but it is actually a hairbrush. And this is called the wet brush. And what I like about this is that it's made so that you can brush your hair when it's wet. And it says that it doesn't give you split ends and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really sure where you can buy it. I got mine in a subscription box, but I know you can get them online. I'm not sure where when you go out in the store, but I really, really like it. And it gets your hair so smooth and shiny. And I just love that I can brush it with this while my hair is wet. It's great. Then moving on to fashion stuff. I've been loving my Alex and Ani bracelets and I wear these all the time. Um, I don't usually wear them in videos because when I used to, you guys used to get mad because they kind of make a lot of noise. But I have six of them and I like it because I always remember like who gave me them and what each one's for. Like this one has a little purple gem for my birthstone. And then I have like an L for Lauren, a mermaid, just a bunch of different things. And I love these. Um, yeah. And I have all silver ones because I like silver more than gold. I don't know, I just like those better. Next thing I've been wearing a lot of are rings this month. Um, I'm only wearing three right now, but I've been wearing more. These two are from H&M and then this one is from like a jewelry store, but I've been wearing a lot more rings lately and I love them. Um, rings are just awesome and they really accessorize your look. Now moving on to music this month. So last month, I know I told you guys that I've been loving the book Divergent and I saw the movie and I loved it, but the soundtrack to it is so perfect too. It's so good. Um, my favorites, here wait, I wrote them down. And my favorite songs are I Won't Let You Go, Dead in the Water, and Waiting Game. They're so good. Um, there's a few songs by Ellie Goulding. There's just a bunch of amazing artists and the songs are so cool. Like some of them have dubstep in them, but then some of them are like slow songs. There's just a variety of songs and I definitely recommend you guys check it out. I'll link the album down below if you want to listen to it because they have a full one on YouTube so I usually just put it on when I'm getting ready and stuff like that and listen to it it's just amazing and my next thing is a food favorite and it is smiley fries and they're so good you can eat them with anything like burgers steak whatever and they're so yummy so they're french fries but they have little smiley faces on them and I just love them so much this is the all natural ones by McCain and you can get them at the grocery store, but they're so yummy and cute. And I just love them, I'm obsessed. And they're so yummy, so you guys should go try them if you haven't already. I mean, most of you probably have, but they're great, so they're a favorite. Then my next 
two things are TV and movie favorites. So the first thing is a TV show, Desperate Housewives. I've been watching that. I just started and I'm on episode 15, I think, of the first season. And it's such a good show. I'm addicted. My friend Sarah was like, oh, you need to watch it and stuff. And I finally started it and she lent me her Netflix account. Thank God, because what would I do if I didn't have Netflix? And it's just such a good show. You guys should all check it out. I didn't know if I would like it because it's like Desperate Housewives, but it's amazing. It's so good. It's like drama, comedy, mystery, everything all wrapped in one. Like if you like funny shows, but you like shows also like Dexter and things that have like mystery to them, then you'll like it. But it's not gory in any way. It's just a really fun show and I love it. So I'm obsessed with that. And then my movie favorite is Clueless. And I actually saw this for the first time this month and... I don't know like how I've never seen that before and it's such a funny movie I just it's just a great movie if you haven't seen it it's like a classic and you should watch it it's also on Netflix and just go watch it if you haven't and once you watch it then comment down below and tell me if you liked it because it's amazing and then lastly I have a random favorite and is Just Dance 2014 and I love playing this game. You can play with your friends, you can play it with your mom, your dad, your grandma. You can play it by yourself and I have it for the Wii and it's a really fun game. Um, I like that it has like music that I listen to so it's like Justin Bieber, like Lady Gaga, a bunch of jams and you can actually exercise. Like I really don't work out ever and you guys always ask me to do a fitness routine but I honestly don't have one but I love playing this game. And it might not be like an intense workout, it's definitely not, but it's fun and I like playing it. So if you have a Wii, you should play this if you haven't and you should buy it and you'll love it. And then the last two things are just kind of favorite events and things that I did this month. And the first thing was the Miley Cyrus concert. It was so amazing. Um, it was so cool. Like. She put on such a performance and it was just so fun. I've been dying to see her since I started watching Hannah Montana and I never got to. So I felt like I had to go and it was just amazing. So if you ever get the chance to go see her, I would. She was kind of upset because the day before her dog had died. So she was like crying and stuff on stage, but I still love her and I felt really bad for her. And yeah, that concert was just so much fun. And then the second thing is IMATS, and you guys have probably heard me talk about this a million times, but it was so great meeting all of you, and I had such a great time. It was amazing. So that is all for my favorites video for April. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I liked, and you guys should comment down below tell me some of your favorites so that if we have some of the same, we can be like twinning, and if not, then I can find some new things that maybe I'll become obsessed with. So, yep, I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Ooh, oh, oh. Let's go. Ooh, girl, you're shining like a Fifth Avenue diamond, and they don't make you like they used to. You're never going out of style.